guys, welcome to Self Care Sunday. Today we're talking about raising your spirits. This is a very important subject because we're not always in a good mood, right? Right. Things happen and sometimes you do need to raise your spirits so that you can move a little bit further in life. Um, it's important to be aware of how you feel and what you're dealing with and what you're struggling with without letting it stop you. So that's what today is all about. And I have five key steps to help you raise your spirits. Make sure you put in the comments, what's your favorite step? Which one you think is the most impactful? Which one you're gonna work on a little bit harder? So put those in the comments. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to Nicole's Network on YouTube. Make sure you're the first to know when we have a new video coming out and you get a notification sent directly to your phone. All right, let's get started. Step number one, give yourself grace. In the words of Lisa Nichols, you want to give yourself a thousand second chances. And when you hit 999, hit reset. And this is something I've been working on personally and making sure that I give myself a little bit more grace. When we make mistakes, we want to learn from the past, but not dwell on it. Learn what you did wrong, figure out what you can do better next time, and move forward. That's all you can do. There's no sense in beating yourself up because it's unproductive energy. Spend your energy, again, focus on what you can do better, what lessons can you learn from that mistake, and how are you going to move forward and making sure that you can prevent it in the future. But in the meantime, give yourself that grace. We are so forgiving of everyone. When's the last time you forgave yourself? Seriously. And, and I know we like to think that we do, but sometimes you have to say, I forgive myself for X, Y, and Z. And really take the time to evaluate all the things you need to forgive yourself for. I remember I started a journaling process where I was doing uh, five things I commit to myself, five things I forgive myself for, and five things I'm proud of myself for, right? And when I started the process of typing out, like writing out every day, five things I forgave myself for, it was interesting to see like how far back that forgiveness had to go. Like there were so many things that I just needed to forgive myself for. And it's stuff that had been happened years and years and years ago but it still was never resolved in my heart. So I challenge you to make a conscious effort to forgive yourself for certain things that you've done, learn the lesson, and move forward. Step number two, you want to get quiet and journal. Journaling is a game changer. Now, I recognize writing is not therapeutic for everyone. My best friend, she used an audible, like a, a audio audio journal. So she literally talks into her, her voice memos and she's able to reflect that way. However journaling looks for you, you want to do it and be consistent with it. Um, you never know what you're holding. So a lot of times we go through the day carrying our baggage, not even realizing we're carrying baggage around, but that journaling process, and it helps you to process what you're dealing with, deal with your thoughts, deal with your emotions, deal with your feelings in a concrete manner. Step number three, get some fresh air. You'd be surprised how effective getting fresh air is. Just sit outside for a second. Now, I'm not the biggest outside person, but I will say like running outside is therapeutic for me. Um, it gives me that energy, that rush, that push. Um, Going for a walk is sometimes therapeutic, not necessarily, not my not my preferred, um, but whatever getting some fresh air looks like, sometimes it's just rolling your window down when you're driving home. Uh, whatever that looks like, just let the fresh air in. Let it in, okay? Open the window while you're sitting in the house, whatever the case, do your best to get some fresh air. Um, step number four, listen to something uplifting. I very much have a, a uplifting playlist on YouTube and on my Apple Music. You want to make sure you have access to music that's going to fill your spirit. Sometimes that's your Beyonce playlist. Sometimes that's your gospel playlist. Whatever the reason, the, whatever way you go, just make sure you have uplifting music that is going to inspire you, uplift you, 
push you, make you want to keep fighting and uplift those spirits because that's what we really need. Music is very impactful in adjusting your mood and your perspective. Have you ever heard a song that reminded you of someone or anything like that and you immediately go back to how that person made you feel? So that's why we want to listen to uplifting music and not just, you know, playing music on shuffle or anything like that. Be really intentional about the vibes you're bringing into your world so that you can uplift your spirits a little bit. And step number five. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say step number five is probably my favorite. Um It's going to be repeat comforting words or prayers. As an author, I'm very aware of the power of our words. And I know very clearly that our words have power and our words have meaning. I have words written on my bathroom mirror. I have words written on my bedroom mirror, on my bedroom walls, on my phone as my screensaver. Like I'm constantly reminded of uplifting and comforting words and prayers and even scriptures that keep me focused and uplifted. So even when I'm not looking at it on a conscious level, I'm looking at it on a subconscious level and my heart is reading it. My mind is reading it. My my spirit is reading it. And I'm reminded every day, like on my bedroom mirror right now, it says what you focus on will grow. Is that not something I need to be focused on on a daily basis? Because honestly and truly, like the things that you're focused on in this world absolutely grow and you want to be aware of those things so that you can grow effectively. Um, So I'll go ahead and do a little recap again. Put in the comments, what's your favorite step? Um, As I go through these, if one of them sticks out to you as either your favorite step or something you need to work on, make sure you put it in the comments. So for step number one. You want to give yourself grace. Step number two, get quiet and journal. Step number three, you want to get some fresh air. Step number four, you want to listen to something uplifting. Step number five, you want to repeat comforting words and prayers. So as always, guys, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's very important that you subscribe to the channel. Um, It helps me help other people by connecting with the world and helps me know to keep making these videos. Um, If you've ever gotten anything from a Nicole's Network video, just make sure you hit subscribe to let me know that, you know, you're enjoying these videos. All right. Thanks, guys.